Hello, I'm David Judd. Today we are looking at the Inception B2B e-commerce platform. This is the third video demo. In the first demo, we saw how your digital marketing campaigns are linked to orders providing full attribution of marketing dollars spent against individual product sales and total company revenue. In the second demo, we looked at how the product information system is used to aggregate product information from everywhere in the organization to provide a single product record. This demo looks at product lifecycle from production to delivery. So let's get started. Who is Inception? Inception is an e-commerce platform uniquely designed for the way companies sell and business buyers buy. We are different because we move from a consumer model to a product-centric organization. A consumer model searches for more consumers to buy products. In a product-centric model, the objective is to find more end users by using product attributes and searching for solution descriptions rather than keywords. So how do we attract more industrial buyers? We do it by inviting buyers to the store from a web search. The search information personalizes the experience. Product attributes guide the selling. The buyer can come back often looking for more information and each visit from the buyer produces more information to be able to develop a buyer profile. We make it easy for the digital marketer to connect the product information to the storefront. We do that by marrying the product information management system to the e-commerce store. Product attributes are used to drive the e-commerce store and changing information in the PIM automatically updates the store in real time. Let's take a look at how we make it easier for the industrial buyer to do business. In your world today, your product information is stored in a lot of different places. Your current information is disorganized and chaotic. The digital marketer often doesn't know where to go to get information. And the systems they rely on are owned by other people and used for other purposes. In the inception world, Product information is found in different locations and stored in a centralized way so that the digital marketer has full 360 degree view of the product, enabling them to take that information and use it to create a more user defined experience at the website. Also using it to enable partners, distributors and wholesalers to have accurate information. You need a 360 degree view of the business to connect your enterprise, to sit above your enterprise systems, and to provide a control center for your digital marketing and sales activities. So what are the advantages of a product-centric model? Product-centric model gives complete visibility from attraction to order, to production, to shipment, and on to delivery. Your products get sold quickly and efficiently with true transparency from sales, marketing, and production management. You can accelerate business performance using a system that is created for the industrial buyer. It was designed for large, mid-size, and small, fast-growing businesses. And vertical solutions are tailored to a broad range of businesses. Let's get started by looking at the Inception Product Lifecycle Management System. We begin at the top of the circle looking at the product. Then we'll investigate marketing and sales channels, digital campaigns, sales orders and quotes, work orders and inventory, and the B2B CRM module. Let's begin again by logging into the application. The first page we land on is the dashboard page. The dashboard page gives us information about the total visitors to the sites today, the weekly user breakdown by browser and by device, and the keywords or campaigns that brought visitors to the website. We can take a look at the location of users actively on the site. To the right, we see monthly sales and monthly ad spend. As we scroll down, we can see the most active orders on the site. Any order indicated in red shows an order that is late from production. We can see the most active customers on the site and the time they were on the site and the device that they used. As we scroll down, we see the available tokens that are used to trade on the site and the top token users and towards the bottom here in a true multi-channel omni-channel environment 
We can see the amount of activity per microsite on each of the sites that contain products that are governed by the Product Information Management System from inception. Next, let's take a look at the Products section. It is this section where new products are created and imported from the ERP system. We can see the revenue per product, and as we scroll down, we can see the list of products that are set up on the system. Clicking into the product, I can see the type of information that is set up in the system for each one of the products. Header information provides identification, pricing, unit of cost, and images are stored here. There's also a unique product description stored in general and tailored specifically to each one of the websites where the product is listed. Product specification, shipping information, and different variants and options are also configured here. See the previous product demo on the Product Information Management System to learn more about what can be adjusted on the products page. The marketing module in the Inception platform connects all of your online advertising platforms together on one screen. You can easily see all the ad spend, the sales, and the full ROAS, or Return on Ad Spend, on one screen. The marketing module creates a completely transparent window into your advertising campaigns and allows you to see online advertising performance, revenue, attributions, and so much more. In this example, we can see that there are over 4 million impressions of digital ad campaigns that are running. These have produced 45,000 clicks. The ad spend of $75,000 has produced 968 orders for a total return on ad spend of $16.66. That means for every dollar spent in advertising, $16.66 were returned to the company in revenue. You can see sales that were produced by each of the five channels in the lower left-hand side. As I scroll down, you can get a graphical view of your revenue versus ad spend. You can filter this view for any point in time and mouse over to see what was your revenue and ad spend on any given day. As I scroll down further, you can see the orders that were produced, the revenue, the ad seller, the campaign, the clicks, the impressions, the days to purchase, and the channel that derived the revenue. The Inception Channel module helps you manage your online sales channels and product offerings. The same product can be sold on multiple channels with completely different prices, options, specifications, and variants. All changes made in the Inception tool will automatically update the website. On this page, I can see a graphical view of the orders per channel. The column widths are proportional to the revenue derived from the site. Clicking on the channel stackingchairs.com shows me information about that particular storefront, the name, the production URL, the type, and the thank you text that's used. I can change logos for the site here. The product listing page shows me all of the products that are available to sell on that site. And the page list gives me the ability to create specific pages to be able to organize my products so that my buyer can find them easier. Clicking on a landing page shows me the products that are displayed on the landing page. Let's learn a little bit more about campaigns. Campaigns are where you see the performance of your digital campaigns. These are Google AdWords, Bing and Yahoo searches, Facebook and social media strategies, and double-click ads. As you saw at the top, you see impressions, clicks, ad spend. Scrolling down shows the orders or the conversions, and clicking on the campaign directs us to more information about that digital campaign. So I can see the unique impressions, clicks, ad spend, and ROAS for that particular campaign, campaign versus revenue, and the conversions for that particular campaign. Clicking on an order will take me to order specific information. Here I can see the order number and whether or not the order was completed or the status of the order. I can see the source of the order, which means the order either came from the e-commerce platform or it could be entered manually here. And then I can complete the order on this page. I can see the contact or account the shipping address, the billing address, or any multiple ship to address would be here. A sales representative 
can be named here, either a direct salesperson, a partner, or a wholesaler, and any notes about the order, the channel from which the order came, and product-specific information, the product, the quantity, the price, and the variants that were chosen online. The order summary is where I can see financial information, the subtotal, the shipping costs, and the tax. Payment information shows me how it was paid, either by credit card or purchase order. And the shipping details gives me the specific shipping information. Under work orders, we can see the specific production work order that's in the shop constructing the product and whether or not it is on time or past due. So the Inception Orders module collects all of your order information from both the e-commerce platform and manually from the PIM. Displays that information in real time. You can review all the abandoned cart information in the order section. And you can see the customer's name and where the order is to be dropped off. The Orders module helps you manage orders update order details, and gain insights into sales trends. In the Supply module, you can see orders in progress. You can see orders in progress by stage or status. You can look at that as a bar chart, or you can take a look at it as orders over time, and a Gantt chart as orders going through the system. If I scroll down, I can see the work orders that are in the production facility whether or not they are on time or whether or not they are late. If they're late, they'll be indicated by a red band. In the work order status, I can also see the variants that were ordered online. Order number 4392 for an adjustable red leather bar stool shows that it is to be built with a clear base and silver hardware. I can also fill orders from inventory. Clicking on the inventory section shows me a list of items that are in the warehouse and the available inventory on hand. I can add inventory here by clicking the Add Inventory button, select the product, and put the available number in stock. This information can also be generated from the ERP system. Vendor supplying inventory can be added here in the Vendor Master List. Lastly, we'll look at the CRM module of the application. This is where we store information about contacts and accounts. Clicking on the name Sharp Interiors takes me to account information, billing information, shipping information, and notes. Account contacts can be seen here. Order history can be seen here. This completes a demonstration of the Inception Product Lifecycle Management Platform. Inside the platform, you saw the product module, sales and marketing channels, digital campaigns, sales orders and quotes, work orders and inventory, and the Inception B2B CRM module. Inception is a business-to-business -business online platform, uniquely designed for the way companies sell and business buyers buy. It's highly visual highly interactive, and delivered on a cloud platform. We are the intelligence that provides complete visibility of the buyer's journey from attraction to fulfillment. And we are the way that companies digitally transform their business into a product-centric organization. Thank you for your time today to take a look at the Inception platform. For a free trial of the Product Information Management System, Visit us at www.inception.com.